So early T-cell ALL or ETPLL is a subset of ALL with high risk features. And that's a subtype of T-cell ALL where with chemoimmunotherapy, the outcomes are poor. And that's an entity which is uh, about 20% of all T-cell ALL are ETPLL. And there are several new therapies which are coming along in clinical trials right now. Uh, I think the first therapy I should mention is Vritoclax, which is a BCL2 inhibitor. And there is work which showed that ETPLL cells express high level of BCL2 and thereby adding Vritoclax to a chemotherapy regimen may help. And some of the trials are working in that regard right now. The other things are CAR T cell therapy. So ETPLL cells express CD7 and therefore CD7 CAR Ts could be a nice approach for potentially these patients. And again, several clinical trials are looking at that approach. And the other thing will be to treat these ETPLL as AML. So things which work for AML, such as uh, azacitidine plus venetoclax or decidamine plus venetoclax. Some of these patients have myeloid mutations, such as IDH2 mutation, IDH1 mutation, FLT3 ITD mutation. So those could potentially be targeted with target therapies. So I think it's important to do a full genomic profile for patients with ETPLL, and then kind of trying to decide the best therapy based on that approach. And also I think an important practical point would be to treat these patients, into, get them into remission, and do a stem cell transplant, an allogenic stem cell transplant in first complete remission. I think that has been shown in several studies to lead to better outcomes.